everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and welcome back for that matter if you've been here before. But if you are brand new, press that red subscribe button because today we're talking about We Need to Talk. And it's directed by Todd Wolf, and it is going to be premiering online on May 12th as a special fan event and then on digital on May 13th. So in the description box down below, you will find a link to where you can buy tickets to watch this online, which I do know that they're doing like a live cast Q&A and answering some questions and then get themselves some merch from this movie as well. So really, really cool that I've also got to give a special thank you to October Coast for some main early screener to this. The plot of We Need to Talk is all around a character called Scott who is a self-absorbed online video game influencer who speaks to millions of fans every day but simply will not communicate with the people he loves. He remains blissfully unaware that he's the problem until one morning as she's walking out the door his girlfriend Ali tells him we need to talk. Her comment sends Scott spiraling into a day long tailspin as he seeks wisdom, advice and emotional support from his social media network of friends. So I was very intrigued with the cast list going into this and I'm very used to James Maslow from Big Time Rush. I used to watch Big Time Rush a little bit back in the day. Emily Bett Ricketts I do know from the Flash and Arrow TV shows. I have seen her in those in the past and of course the rest of the cast and crew I am unfamiliar with but we also do have some cameos of real gamers and influencers in here by the usernames Clemenator, Dub.Dubby Secret and Score Leon Gids, Glitter Explosion, Hip Hop Gamer, Alex ER, and Fro Nose Photo. And Todd Wolf, this is my first ever viewing of any of his work. And deep diving straight into my positives. One thing I will say is that I really like the backstory of this because it is all around Todd Wolf, the director, but it's actually kind of like based on a personal story of his where he actually did work for a narcissistic youtuber in the past but also in his own time he loves playing video games and he thought he'd kind of try and combine the two to make this kind of like coming of age kind of comedy drama like heartwarming movie and i really like that aspect of kind of like his own kind of personal story and i think that the use of the location setting in this movie is done pretty well because you can tell that this seemed like it was on a bit of like a tighter budget because it was in just one location for 90% of the movie but it did make use of that as well I also noticed that you know this is all about gaming and one thing I is I am a gamer in my spare time also so I can really appreciate the gaming references in here and the gaming consoles that were on display and of course some of the actual names aren't included here like YouTube's called ViewTube but it was basically the same idea and you could literally make that out in the movie so it wasn't distracting or anything like that. Our main performance here is by James Maslow who plays a character called Great Scott and yeah I'm a Back to the Future fan, so I loved that reference. I'm assuming there was some Back to the Future love in this movie for that reference. I'm not really too sure. But either way, I appreciated the name. That was really, really cool. And I think that he played the part pretty well of being this kind of narcissistic VTuber. We'll call him a VTuber because it's called VTube in the movie. As the plot progresses, you don't like his character or you have a hard time kind of rooting for his character because he's kind of self-absorbed in his own world to the point he he doesn't really spend a lot of time with his girlfriend or he isn't really making her as a priority but also everything else in his life whether it's his friends or everything else he's kind of lost track in that and kind of like that deep dive into his own kind of darkness as such and this kind of place he's put himself in over time I liked that journey and I think that he played a good performance in that kind of arc where you don't like his character. And yeah, I definitely got to highlight also the friendships in this movie because I really liked the friendships where our main character of Great Scott is definitely relating to a lot of his gamer friends and they're always playing multiplayer and he's testing out these new games and stuff and again I just really like that element because as a gamer I can relate with that. There is a couple of cameos in here I would say like Emily Bett Ricketts is kind of like a cameo being honest but to be honest she has some funny moments so I will give her that as well and yeah I think underlying of this story there is a message here that really kind of relays like a nice message of being like you know appreciate your surroundings appreciate the people that's close to you any negatives with this movie what i will say is that i feel like the main character of james maslow again i think he played the performance well but by the end of this movie and when they all come to wrap this up which i'm not going to spoil for you guys 
I couldn't really feel for his character 100% because something happens and I felt a little bit and I was like, oh wow, this is kind of like a payoff. And then something happens and I'm just like, yeah, that was gone. So I personally didn't 100% feel that full like heartwarming story, which was a little bit of a shame. If you're not a fan of gaming whatsoever, you may not relate with this movie in terms of like a gamer and like YouTube or YouTube, for example. Some of the comedy also doesn't land and I wish the film at points was a bit more serious in its message that it was trying to relay. We Need to Talk releases on May 12th on a special fan event and May 13th on digital. What I will say is that I personally just found this as like an easy breezy watch being honest with you I wasn't bored throughout any of this and I will say that the movie did keep me entertained in its premise but also about what was going to happen at the end so at that point it certainly succeeded to regard for sure so overall my score for we need to talk is so have you seen this movie were you part of the production or are you going to check out this movie well any of those things leave any and all comments down below please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and until the next time that i see you i'll be seeing you later